this is the increase side of the stick and this is the decrease side of the stick when you're using these sticks you need to use them on the A side towards the coil okay so we're gonna take this stick and we're gonna slide it underneath the radiator hose and up on top of the valve cover gasket surface to get it in position and always make sure that you don't mess up on the side A you want that towards the coil so you're gonna put it in there that way and make sure it doesn't flip on you because if it does only on one side you'll have a pattern that half the scope patterns are going to be shorter than the others. I'm going to put it in position and then I'm going to go over and have to put it in, wedge it in between the valve cover gasket and the coils with the edge of this little button on the end of the wire close to the first coil and then between the valve cover gasket and the coils. And that'll wedge it in there and hold it good then I usually will hold this button down so I don't and you kind of hold the coil or the stick in place by the first coil so that you don't pull it out and then just gently pull the cord back up over the top of the radiator hose in order to keep the wires from getting into the fan okay and then we're going to take the same thing side A facing it towards the coil and go under the air clean air intake duct along the top of the valve cover to start with to get it in position again making sure we don't let that flip over on us and then we're going to take and wedge that stick in between the valve cover gasket surface and the coils this side's a little more tricky you got to make sure that little button slides itself down in between you got to kind of bend it just a little bit to get it up above the valve cover gasket surface so it gets down in there good otherwise the first coil on this side won't get a good reading and again we're going to pull that wire up over the top of the intake duct so that we don't let the wire hit the fan. Okay, the next step, basically, we're going to take our SIA 2000. We're going to take, and we have to, as you see, hook up to the negative side of the boom here. Just simply pushing it in there, getting it lined up correctly, and plugging it in. Out of the four on this quad adapter, it doesn't matter which two you use, you're going to need to install... Okay, so we're going to take now the SIA 2000, we're going to look at the boom side. Now there's a negative and a positive side to this. You want to make sure you use the negative side of the boom for the, your waste or your uh, coil unplugged vehicles. There's tabs to alignment tabs on the plugs to line up with to plug them in. You get them lined up just right and you tighten the connector all the way till it latches. Then we're going to take one of the, or two of the ends on the RCA's adapters we're going to have to use these little barrel adapters in here. You can get yourself some extra ones from Radio Shack if you need to, uh, to keep them on hand in case you lose any of them. Then we're going to take those and adapt them to the blue leads of the coil sticks. And again, it doesn't matter which ones you use out of the four. The system will find them and display the patterns correctly. All right, next step we're going to need to do, and with any lab scope testing, you actually should ground your lab scope at the battery. It's the only known good ground there is. Um, what you have with your Modus, or Vantage Pro if that's what you're using, is a, an extra jumper lead, and all you need to do is grab an extra alligator and hook it up to the other end. So you can have an extra jumper to ground your SIA 2000 directly to the battery. So we're going to hook that directly to the battery, and then we're going to take the ground clip off the SI2000 and connect it here. Once you have that hooked up good, now you can position this SI2000 up and out of the way so again you don't have to worry about it falling off the vehicle or falling into the fan. The next step is we need to hook the SI2000 to the Modus. In order to do that, you're going to make sure that we actually plug into the top of the motors with the color coordination here plugging the ground into the ground and channel one into channel one the green lead is for a waste park vehicle so it's not needed on this particular application okay the next thing we need to do is actually hook up our cylinder pickup probe it can be used to synchronize any low lab scope patterns if need be um, and you want it 
basically on this particular application to be able to know where the number one cylinder is and when it's firing so you know which cylinder is which in your display. It's simple enough and it's accurate enough and sensitive enough to pick up off of any trigger, which means now at this point I'm going to take the number one coil and be on the control wire, the one that's not red in this instance, and clamp around it. Make sure it's secure and near the coil.